Welcome back to the Garden Hutch. Today we'll discuss week four of 2023. Let's get going. Well, the weather for week four was kind of nasty, to be perfectly honest about it. We got quite a bit of moisture, though, which is good. You know, it helps our beds out, that sort of thing. Um, so I guess the big thing that happened during week four was the snowstorm. So let's take a look. Well, hey, folks. Uh, you know, the beginning of our weekly update yesterday, we were talking about some winter weather that was possible moving in. You know, we never get anything like this, but uh, it's coming down. It started today about 3.30 p.m. It's where it transitioned over to the snow part. And I would say within, uh, within about 20 to 30 minutes, we had almost a quarter of an inch, almost half an inch on the ground sticking. So we were talking about how we were wanting it to do this a little bit just so it would benefit our veggies and we got our wish so but gosh is it gorgeous i mean you look through here and it's just a winter wonderland just a winter wonderland so after the snow and stuff moved out during week four we decided to go ahead and put the row covers on so let's go ahead and take a look at that and we'll kind of explain what our reasoning is so as you can see, we covered the entire row here for the carrots. And then in these beds right now, all we have in there are radishes. We'll take a look in the greenhouse here in a bit, but the beets and the lettuce are not quite ready to go. They will be here probably in the next, I don't know, seven to 10 days or so. Uh, the reason I wanted to show this was um, you can see here, what we've done is kind of just tucked in the end, one side and then we leave, like you can see over here, we leave this side open, like another side of them open. That's just to let the airflow go through there. This time of year, we are not really trying to protect any of the plants from the actual cold yet. Everything in here can handle, uh, you know, down to about 25, all the stuff that we're growing, the beets, lettuces, that sort of thing. I want to use these to see if I can increase the germination speed. So this upcoming week, week five, um, the highs are going to be in the probably mid 30s to mid 40s. We're not going to have a really warm week. So I thought it would be a perfect time to see if we could increase the germination rates through this. And if so, hopefully increase our um, growing periods for the year. So if we can get things to grow here into January, heading into February, and then transplant the lettuces and stuff, you know, that's going to add about six weeks or so onto the front end of our growing season. So the next thing I'd like to do is just kind of take a step here in the greenhouse and give you guys an update of what we're growing now. After that, we'll go in the house and we'll look at the new plants that we got started this week as well. So as you can see, our beets here um, are doing really well. I just kind of wanted to show you, after all this time, there are steel beets coming up. So we have these that have been up for a little while and then you see these little guys coming up. Now I am trying something new on this next round of beets and I'll show that next week. But what I did was I soaked the seeds in warm water for 24 hours before I planted them. And I'll be planting those early in week five. So hopefully next week when we do our update, I can kind of walk you all through what we did. Also, I want to mention this here and I'll put a little um, link up top. We have, we're going to start a Growing Your Summer Plants series. We're going to start that the first week of March. I believe March 3rd will be the first episode. So you folks check that out and it'll have a lot more to do with um, how we start our plants and everybody kind of going through and doing it at the same time, answering questions and such. So you can tell that our lettuce here is doing really well. Um, now that they're getting their true leaves, you can kind of tell the difference between this is the leaf lettuce, that black seeded Simpson and the darker ones here, those are the butter crunch. But I'm anxious to get these onions in the ground this week as well. Um, let's take a second real quick before we head inside and let's look at some of the things we have in the pallet beds. So we threw in 
uh, some turnip greens in this bed up here. And as you can see, even after the snow and stuff, uh, these did just fine. These had just started coming up before the snow. I just wanted to point this out real fast just to kind of show how resilient these things were. We had a frost and all the frost never hurt it. Also, we had, you know, I don't know how many inches of snow it ended up being, but whatever it was, these seedlings for the greens, they did just fine. Um, the radishes that we direct sowed, they are also fine. So as we mentioned earlier, uh, we are gonna start doing a seed starting video uh, first week of March. So I wanted to just kind of throw this in here um, from a greenhouse perspective. We got these for less than $30. We bought two of them uh, three years ago. They're still working out for us. And for two years, this is all we use to grow all of our plants indoors. And you know we would move them outdoors as we needed them. We'd keep one inside, have one outside. But we started all of our own plants that way. Um, then we graduated last year to the larger outdoor greenhouse because we just needed more room. But in here, I just wanted to show you, uh, Leslie's got started here. Uh, if you have any of your pollinator plants that require 12 weeks or so of germination before they go in the ground, now's a good time to start those. Um, this particular unit, it doesn't come with the lights and you don't need those. We just put them in there to help um, with uh, if we have to keep them inside for extended periods or whatever, just to make sure they don't get too leggy. Uh, but it has like five racks um, down here for you to put your seedlings on. This is a great thing to get if you have the time. Again, I haven't looked at it lately, but when we bought them, they were under 30 bucks and we're three years into it and it helps a lot um, when it comes to starting and organizing your seeds more than anything else. Well, week four was definitely a challenge, but we still feel like we're moving in the right direction. As always, I appreciate you folks who stuck it out with us here till the end. Until next time, I hope everyone takes care of themselves. Peace.